Hey everyone, this is the first video in a series of videos to show the basics of creating houses like this one in Gravity Sketch. I hope you enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the Layers tab that can be accessed by clicking the blue menu button. There, I'm going to add the layers Measure, Construction, Floors, and walls. Now I'm going to select the Measure tool from the Primitives tab that can be accessed by clicking on the purple button. Hold the trigger on your non-drawing hand while you pull the trigger on your drawing hand to create a measure object that is parallel to the world axes. Then grab the measure object and put it in edit mode. Now click Auto and enter 12 followed by a check mark. Align the controllers and start stretching the measure object until you reach 20 feet. Pull and hold your non-drawing hand trigger while you place the tip of the pointer to the tip of the first measure object. Pull the trigger on your drawing hand and make this measure object 25 feet. Do the same on the other side. Now open the Primitives menu, deselect the Measure tool, and select Plane, and select the Sub-D option. Select the Construction layer. Pull the trigger on both controllers, stretch them apart, take the Sub-D object you created, and put it in edit mode. Now pull the snaps option all the way to the right. Stretch each corner to one of the endpoints of the measure objects. Now turn on thicken and pull the yellow cone down 8 inches. Now lock the floors layer. Now we'll add measurements to mark our walls. I use 4.5 inches for the thickness of each wall. I'm adding another wall at four feet from the left wall. Continue adding measurements for the other three outer walls. 
each one 4.5 inches. Now grab the Sub-D object from the construction layer and put it in edit mode. Use the endpoints of the measure objects as snapping points to create loop cuts. While in edit mode, press and hold the black button while you slide your controller all the way to the right to select the separate tool. Select the faces of the mesh that you want to use to create the walls. When you're happy with your selection, confirm by pressing the blue button. Grab the mesh you've just created and put it in edit mode. Select the thicken option and raise the walls to 9 feet. Now create a new plane object, put it in edit mode, and snap the corners to the outermost corners of the walls. Add loop cuts for the upstairs walls.
Here I'm creating a new measurement for a wall, for a closet, for the upstairs floor plan. And here I'm adding a single loop cut to sh indicate where the top of the steps will be. Here I'm deleting this face to provide access for the stairwell. Now I'm thickening the floor to 4.5 inches. And now I'm going to bake that. Now grab the new baked geometry and put it on the floor layer. And grab it one more time and put it in edit mode. Choose the separate tool again. And again, select the faces that you want to use to create walls. When you're happy with your selection, confirm by pressing the blue button, and then grab the new mesh, put it in edit mode, and choose the thicken option. Now raise the walls to 9 feet. Now add the walls to the walls layer, and we're done for today. Next time I'll show you how to add baseboards and crown molding, and how to change the colors of the wall. See you later!